Ah, my God, man. What a freaking game, man. Borussia Mönchengladbach versus Real Madrid, man. Group B, uh, second game of the group stage, man. This game ended in a 2-2 draw. Real Madrid, bro, clap it up, man. Clap it up, man. You almost suffer a humiliation, humiliated defeat, man, to, uh, against Mönchengladbach, man. Mönchengladbach, bro, you effed up, bro. You effed up. Um, two go sorry, two goals up. You pre pretty much pull a Tottenham, bro. You, you, you pull a Tottenham. Two goals up, man. In the and, and you have like what five minutes to go, bro. Like 87 minute, man. And you and you draw the game, bro. You draw the freaking game after freaking Turam do everything for you, man. Marcus Turam scored two goals, one in the first half and one in the second half, man. And y'all support all you had to do is just defend, bro. Defend, man. With eight in the 87 minute, you let freaking Kareem Benzema did, did an overhead kick, man. Casemiro probably you got it. oh my it's between Turan and Casemiro for man of the match man because Casemiro showed up with a goal and assist man it, it, it's just crazy bro um it's just crazy man defend man defend 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 man this was a huge huge blow in my opinion um I don't know what's going on with Real Madrid bro I don't know what's going on with them they seem like they play very hard at the end of games in the Champions League they struggle in the first half and the second half they kind of pick up and this is what they was trying to do versus um, Shakhtar last week, man. They almost did it versus Shakhtar last week, but the VAR intervened and uh, made the right uh, right decision. Uh, this time, there was no VAR, um, VAR questioning or nothing like that, man. Uh, clearly, uh, two great goals by, uh, by Real Madrid at the end of the game with uh, Benzema pretty much holding off the player and an overhead kick to um, score the consolation goal. And after they scored that in the 87th minute, bro, they're like, you know what, we probably could get one more. And it was right, man. They put on a lot of pressure on uh, Munchen Glad back in the last, what, 20 minutes of the game or so, man. A lot of pressure. Pretty much live in front of, uh, around, in front and around uh, Munchen Glad back uh, 18, man, in the, in this. At pretty much within a few minutes of the end of the second half and they never gave up man they played very well um pass the ball very good went down the field very good midfield was solid man casemiro valverde and Kroos. Kroos didn't have a really good game man but it was all right uh mendy uh mendy uh, I, I think mendy did very well on the left side but it did kind of like allow Toronto to score that second goal uh, by keeping the player um, on side if he pretty much moved up a little bit um, Tehran would have been offside man, but he also was marking on the player too over there uh, on, 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 the, on the on the left side man so that's why it was unfortunately uh, we pretty much uh, kept up Mendy on and Mendy were able to score the second goal which was very very good in my opinion um, yeah man so shout out to um, uh, Borussia, uh, much, uh, glad, man, man. This is the second game they draw. They drew versus Inter Milan, who pretty much drew today versus Shakhtar, 0 0 draw. But Shakhtar, right now, are the best team in Group B, uh, with, uh, with four points from two games, man. By me, uh, Real Madrid is the worst with, uh, two games, one point, man. So hopefully they could, uh, move on from this one point, man. But it should be very interesting to see. All things turn out, man. But Inter Milan versus uh, versus Real Madrid, bro. That's gonna be a very, very exciting uh, games. I know that's gonna be a double header, man. So really looking forward to this. And uh, Real Madrid, bro. Zid Zidane, bro. There's a lot of questions we gotta ask, man. Yeah, beat uh, Barcelona comfortable. We seem like he's struggling in the Champions League, man. So I don't like to see this Real Madrid. Uh, I'm not used to this Real Madrid, man. So that's uh, Cas uh, Torra, man. Man after match. Uh, Leiter did very good too, alongside. Uh, New Tass, uh the center, center midfielder for um, for Munch and Gladbach. Um, Stindl, Stindl did very well too, man. This guy is impressive. And play up top, I think, was very good. He had assists on um, one of those goals. And uh, for Real Madrid, uh, Asensio did very good. I was impressed by Asensio. Benzema did very well because like, Benzema scored a um, the, the the pretty much the first goal for Real Madrid, which pretty much gave Real Madrid a lot of um, momentum and a lot of excitement, and uh, then probably see, yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, uh, he did very well. Uh, Vinicius Junior was very poor overall. Uh, Casemiro, man, as I said, man, he put in a pretty much a man of the match experience, but I wouldn't give him man of the match. Definitely got to be uh, my my, com um, 
uh, definitely gotta be Turan, man. So yeah, it is what it is. Ramos, man, Ram Ramos had assists. Ramos did very well. Him and Mendy was two solid uh, mid uh, defenders, man. So stat wise, Real Madrid had was sixty six percent ball possession, while uh, Montegladbach had thirty four percent ball possession. Um, yeah, man. So he, but yeah, Real Madrid had, was sixty, yeah. And uh, yeah, so 20 shot, 21 shots for Real Madrid, uh, 9 shots for um, Monte Gladback. Monte Gladback had what, 5 shots on target, Real Madrid had 6 shots on target. So there's a lot of questions, man. Almost lost this game, drew this game at the bottom of the, of the group, man. So you gotta ask the question, man. Will they turn this one around, man? They play Inter Milan next. That should, be the, that should be interesting, man. So subscribe, leave a comment, share this video. I'm out of here, though.